All right, guys, let's see how this goes here. All right, so guys, this was Dean's first match at the tournament. Um, this was a good match because there was a lot to learn from this match. Um, so I want to preface this by starting out. Um, normally, I would never, never tell uh, my students not to tap. But you guys are going to see at the end of this that uh, he gets stuck in essentially like a crucifix um, uh, bow and arrow choke a little bit here. Just the thing I don't think Dean realized was is there was literally only 10 seconds left and Dean was up a billion points. Um, so had Dean just eaten that choke for a little bit longer and I don't think he was going to go out from that choke, Dean would have been fine. So sometimes it's being able to recognize the type of submission that we're caught in and then being able to see how much time is left. Um, me and Dean talked after this match, and I said he was rushing a lot of the stuff, like a few people did at the tournament. And then we'll go over the two matches that I coached him directly after this, after we talked about him rushing it, infinitely better. Okay, so let's start this match out right now. So Dean does a good job of trying to initiate hand control, trying to get his grips. So Dean is pretty strong on the feet here. A little raw on the takedowns, but he's strong. So I was yelling at him to get collar ties on the guy. As soon as that guy dropped that knee, yeah. And Dean, you could have done that even a half second sooner. So as soon as his knee went to the floor right here, just dump him to that side. Boom. <clears throat> so Dean's got his two points, trying to solidify side control. This is a spot, guys, where sometimes you can spin, um, but... It's all right. So, Dean, right here, I would like to have seen us try to really wedge that right knee up before he starts to bring this knee in to solidify, like, a knee on belly position. Looks like you might get it anyways. Guys, I'm going to apologize for the coughing. I'm still recovering my voice from over the weekend. <coughs> also, Dean, right here. So, common mistake is that... When this elbow to knee connection happens, they keep the right hip down. Then it just kind of, really, unless you have uh, more cardio than the person, um, it, they're eventually going to guard recover. So when this connection happens, instead of leaving your right hip down here, switch your left hip down because that will help give you the uh, ability to clear by that leg. Okay, does a good job, though, of establishing that frame and guard recovering. So that was a good, good job for him to get back to close guard that way. Good job keeping your head up. For the most part, not looking down. I think you got a grip there. <coughs> Plus, it looks crazy outside. Whenever this uh, forest fire up in Canada coming down towards us. Not the greatest there. So, hand pointing from closed guard. There is no pressure, though, on Dean. Dean's up his two points. Literally doesn't need to do anything right now. Just has to stay safe and look active enough that he won't get called for stalling. Which he is doing right now. Being active enough, I mean. Guy's doing a good job of trying to cut his hip out. Trying to create an angle. So, Dean, I would want you to move to your right to square that up. Now that he's opened... Yep, keep that leg back. <coughs> I would like you to keep sprawling this leg back. This hand should be grabbing that arm. It's a dangerous grip. So now this would be a good spot to pass, Dean. Yep, you felt it. You could sprawl hard here. Yep. Need to move the head up the body now as we go. So boom, there's our three points for the pass. So now we're up five to zero. Uh, remind me, Dean, we got to go over the step over Kanto choke from here. That would have been a good spot to start to set that up. You see how we're rushing it and creating a lot of space here, Dean? Like, there's no need. You're up five points. I mean, this would be a spot where I would kind of yell at you or we need to have in our heads. Like, we would just establish position there. Just take our time. He's never recovering five points if we hold there, which is what you do in the next matches, which is great. <clears throat> Good job smashing the knees together. Same thing, though. We need to take our time and establish grips in Gi. Bring your hips in to tilt his hips towards me to solidify this pass. 
and don't leave your arm in there. Yep. This guy does a really good job, guys, of keeping his elbow to knee uh, connection. He's got good fundamentals. And plays butterfly guard, which means, guys, this is why we are covering the um, half butterfly guard pass this week. He's looking to set up scissor sweep. We should be going weave pass right here immediately. So left hand needs to go for weave pass there, Dave. And not this double over. It's like in gi, we weave pass. And if you don't know what the weave pass is, just make sure you come in and ask. Head's a little too low. Need to get that head on the body so we can prevent him from coming up. This guy acted like he had died from that. Glad he was okay. So he does a good job of freeing his leg and then using that to come up. So Dean, this is another one. We are up a billion fucking points. Uh, not the only one who did this. We are going to work on guard recovery from Turtle because that is another spot that Jim was weak on at this tournament. But we need to be looking at guard recovering. You can either pass his arm over to the other side and sit through, but we need to start sitting through more. Um, or literally just stay as tight as possible in the turtle because you are up so many points. He can't win with a back take here is what I'm getting at. And so your hands aren't fighting his grips at all there, Dean. Like, you can't let him establish grips. Your hands needed to have been fighting his hands. Now he's either going to be looking now that that's deep to set up a clock choke. You push in the wrong way. So I was asking you to fat man roll here. Uh, you would have needed to have rolled in this direction for the fat man roll. So just something we need to review and cover. Because that literally, you literally went the way he would want to go. Now, this is where I was talking. So there was basically, so there are 20 seconds left, not 10 seconds. Either way, Dean, I don't think this would have finished you. I think if you had just spun in this direction, you would have been out, okay? Um, and I think you could have lasted 20 seconds in that choke, even if you didn't. Uh, but either way, buddy, good job. And then we go on to our next gi matches where we had talked about slowing it down, establishing our grips, and then you looked great from there, all right? So that's the first breakdown for Dean, guys, and we will get to some of the other ones later.